Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral's Age of Sail. I was about to say Dreadnoughts there again. Um, we just finished the land march in the previous episode and I now have two of these side missions that I can still send some ships to deal with. In the previous episode I also upgraded the Essex to now have coronate guns, so I'm eager to test that out. We're going to do that hopefully in this episode. But for now I need to send out some of the ships here to deal with some of these side missions. Uh, that's one... Oh, no, that's not one. Uh, United States to one. The new Amsterdam and the Essex. 94% chance of success. And the Black Corsair. The coastal villages and towns of Sicily are terrorized by the raids of the mighty pirate who is called the Black Corsair. His merciless raids always end with fire, destruction, and the decimate of the population that is not worth to be sold in the African slave markets. Send a task force to put an end to his activities. Chesapeake, Enterprise, Anthony, Trenton. Go. Next stage. The enemy commander has contacted me and is offering to pay a ransom for the safe return of his captured men. The offer has been accepted. 213 prisoners out of my 258 will be returned for 532. Release them on parole. It'll improve your reputation by two. Reject and continue holding them. Uh, I'm going to release them on parole. And that's going to give me a bit more reputation. Okay, what happened here? Uh, the Black Corsair. Nice bit of money. Decent amount of reputation. One career point. Uh, no damage to any of my ships. Excellent. The King of Naples has sent his personal gratitude for ending the career of the so-called Black Corsair. He's also noticed that will... He has also noted that will be delighted. he will be delighted if you pay him a visit. Okay, cool, not today. Shipwreck. The shipwreck was full of priceless ancient Greek and Egyptian items. The ship seemed to be part of a network, smuggling antiquities of the ancient Mediterranean civilizations for European collectors and museums. Sometimes I'm wondering if this is an honorable act. Well, it did give me some money. Uh, that's good. No damage to any of my ships either. So, what do we have in the news? The Heavy Frigate's Constitution Constellation have arrived and joined your fleet. Thank you, sir. In the Washington Gazette. Admiral John Paul Jones and his fleet has entered the Mediterranean to protect more efficiently our trade routes. The first good news come from, comes from the Atlantic, where the presence of the Barbary Corsairs and the attacks on our merchant ships have been significantly reduced. It seems that the ships, sorry, that the pirates will operate more in the Mediterranean to protect their ports. Okay. Uh, we got two side missions and two main missions. We got Master of the Sea and Battle of the Derna. But first, let's have a look at the new ships. Because we got new frigates. The Constitution and the Constellation. Um, let's set up a promotion here. Let's go with the morale bonus. I don't need the morale on these guys getting broken. They are carrying 9-pounder Armstrong guns. Now, I still have some cash to work with, so I can pretty easily upgrade those. Um, I already got the Chesapeake and the New Amsterdam, and, of course, the Essex, which now has their coronads, and I am eager to use those. The question is, do I want those on this ship as well? What's the speed of the Essex? 8.9. She's actually slower, this frigate, than the United States class frigate. Okay. What other guns can I field? Oh, all sorts of coronads. But also just standard 24 inch guns. Even 32 pounders, 42 pounders. Good lord. Damage 20. Current damage 7. <laughs> okay. Um, is that affordable? Yeah, the ship's going to be too heavy. I imagine that. If I make the guns lighter, it will fit. Can I do that here as well? No, they don't fit there, but the 32 pounders do. What I'm currently fielding are the 24-pounder Armstrong guns. Range 1150. If I go for the Gunnade, range 950. 
damage is three points higher. And the Woolwich guns, better range. Uh, damage and armor pen. Armor pen drops off pretty quickly here. At 750, you're looking at an armor pen of about 15, I think. Whereas here, you're looking at slight... Well, substantially more, actually. I'm thinking whether this is a good idea or not. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We're going to have two of these coronet things. 32 pounders and 42 pounders. Oh, Jesus, that's expensive. That's prohibitively expensive. <laughs> okay. Uh, in that case, we're just going to go with this. And give them one set of coronets and one set of Armstrong... 24-pounder uh, Armstrong guns. Cruise optimal. Good. All right, let's go on a mission. Master of the Sea. The next step in our strategy is an attack on the capital of the Tripoli... Trip Politan Kingdom, the city of Tripoli. Tripoli is well defended and has the largest and strongest fleet in all the Barbary states. The first phase of the attack should be your dominion or your domination on the waters off the coast of Tripoli. Send a squadron to control the sea traffic from and to Tripoli. If you're lucky, the arrogant Tripolitan, Tripolitans, Tripolitans may leave the safety of their coastal defenses and attack you in the open, increasing your chances to defeat their fleet. When our army is ready to get again in action, tighten the shackles on both sea and land. Let's go. Situation. We have two groups of four each. Let's go with our frigates in one group. Uh, so that's the United States, the Chesapeake, the Constitution, the Constellation. Although I want the... Cons no, actually, um, I want the Constellation and the Essex over there. Because they are the Coronat guns. And I want to have uh, my ship of the line here as well. Ship of the line. Then the Constitution with the Coronades. Uh, the Constellation and the Essex. And over here the Anthony and the Enterprise. I'm not going to use my troop ships. Begin. Our fleet has arrived off the coast of Tripoli. Well, sort of. Tripolitans have sent a fleet to destroy our squadron. This is a welcome mistake from their side. We have a good opportunity to cripple their fleet, making easier the blockade of Tripoli that follows next in our plan. Godspeed, Admiral. Okay. Uh, what do we have? The US group and the New Amsterdam group. The New Amsterdam, most guns... Also the strongest ship I have in resilience. And we have a couple of smaller things coming in. Uh, yeah, we're going to turn to port. And slightly let them come in. And I want these guys to hold. Just for now, just wait. Just look at the, the difference in size in these ships. This, the Enterprise, is a 5th rate, 6th rate sloop of war. And over here we have the 4th rate United States class. New Amsterdam is holding. New Amsterdam is even bigger, isn't it? 4th rate ship of the line. Let's aim... Whoops. Over there. I'm not going to try and capture these. I don't find these small things to be particularly useful. Uh, later on, I might capture some of the bigger ones, if possible. I'm trying to let these guys make a mistake. And in the meanwhile, as they're trying to push into me, I'm going to use the broadside on the starboard side of the United States, the Chesapeake and the other ships, to rake their ships. Bow to stern, hopefully doing as much damage as possible. And then the plan is to have the Constitution, the Essex and the Constellation, and especially the Constitution and the Essex to come in with their coronade guns and start blowing really big holes in these ships. 
There we go. The Merat Izafer is already starting to waver. There. Midships. They're too heavily armored at the moment to be using uh, Grape Shot. I think my guns are substantially more powerful at this point. This thing should not be in the middle of our line. Not so much that I mind, but <laughs> he's just getting absolutely destroyed trying to do that. Maintain position. These are the guns from the Constitution. She has the coronets, correct? Yes. No! Did I put those in the constellation? Yes, the constellation has the 32 pounders. Okay, that one's dead. Let's slowly start to move up. Over here, they have another one of those massive uh, damage ships. And we got. Oh, you're a big one. Lots and lots and lots of crew there. If we can eliminate the rigging on that ship, that might be handy. Can we try and do that? Not sure what I set the aim area to at this point. Chain shot. You two. Chain shot. Okay, that one has sunk. Very good. We're gonna slowly but steadily move after the Enterprise. Oh, they're taking on survivors. Okay. That means that the rigging, or the, all their sails, are a more difficult target at this point. Not too fast, gentlemen. Target the foremast. Let's see if we can hit that. So the plan is, if I can isolate it, and thereby make it vulnerable to further boarding attacks, that would be great. That's the tactic that I'm trying to run with. Target the Anvnila. Bad stern. These other ones are just snacks. They're not really that much of a threat, I think. Okay, full ahead. They're still trying to move towards me, and thereby not really getting an opportunity to use all of their guns, but they're starting to turn right now. And if they're coming in this close, this is going to be an excellent opportunity for the coronets to get tested. Turn a little bit more to port. Yep, they're definitely starting to take more and more and more damage to their rigging. At this point, that mast could go down. That'd be a great thing to capture. They got a lot of these nice and big ships here to capture, actually. Oh, here comes the Constitution. Oh, sorry, the Constellation. My coronate laden frigates. Uh, break formation, come to port. Essex with them. Good damage. Try not to ram into each other. I would like both of the ships to stay, at least my ships, to stay as healthy as they can. Care much about yours though. Six hundred crew aboard that ship. All right, what else is going on? This thing is taking a beating. Look at that hull armor, or the the hull structural integrity.
Look at him go! Jesus, at this rate they won't have a ship soon. Let's switch to Grape Shot. See if we can eliminate some of the crew. If I can get this thing to surrender, I'd be very happy. Seems like they're not that suitable at doing damage to my ships for the moment. Finish this one off. That one's suffering from artillery shock. Come on, take that mass down, will ya? Take it down. Because I really want to capture it. It's too valuable to sink. Oh, this one's burning. Jesus, the constellation has taken a load of damage to her starboard side. Turning away like this is not great. But I guess I'm going to have to. She's burning and wavering. Soria has sunk. Good. They might try to pick up survivors. Enterprise is about to kill off the Sefket. Screw this. We're just going to go with standard shot. There we go. Yep, that one's down. This one has taken a load of damage to its starboard side and is starting to waver. Um, it might be capturable, provided that they're able to survive. Wind has changed to northeast. All right. This is not good for the Constitution. Thankfully, they're not very accurate. They're flooding as well. Damn, they took out half the rigging on the United States here. That's bad. Look at that. Snapped clean off. Damn. I'm hoping I can reduce the crew. Nah, yeah, seems to be working so far. That was 28 guys down. These are taking all sorts of hits. Oh, shit. This guy's coming in with a hurry. Where's the Essex? Here. Uh, and we have to slightly turn into the wind. Come on, eliminate more crew members. That's more like it. Now we're going to board. Angle's not great. I don't have enough crew, officially. But I'm hoping that because their morale is broken... Oh crap, my morale's not that great either. Hold on. Maybe we can have the constitution do it. Grape shot. I want to capture that guy. This one probably won't survive. And this one's heavily burning. Constellation, hard to starboard. Prepare broadside fire on the Anvnila. Ooh. No, don't burn me, don't burn me, don't burn me. 
Murder the crew. That's helpful. This one has lost a mast. Even though I wasn't actively targeting the rigging, I think. Or at least not anymore. Join the New Amsterdam. Nuzeria has been sunk. Shit. That's not what I wanted. I wanted her to get captured. Uh, Essex. Grape shot. And... No, that's drop anchor. Board. Constitution, that way. Hold to distance. No, close the distance. Slow down a touch. I don't have nearly the crew members that I need for this. But the Essex is set up for boarding. Much more so than the other ships are. Constitution. I don't like it, but I have to put you back into the fight. 269 versus 307. We should be able to do this. As long as I don't accidentally blow it up. Oh, hi. Survivors. Yeah, that one's down. I need to sort of reform my groups. Surrendered. Oh, shit. She's burning, though. Cut. Get out. She's sinking. Oh, no. Great. Prepare to board. Constellation needs to change direction right now. Her starboard side is just gone. I cannot really use the Essex to try and capture the uh, Ramet because I don't have the numbers. So I'm hoping that the Constitution can do it. Preferably before all the survivors get there, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get there. Cancel the board. So we have to scratch off as many crewmers as we can. Constellation structural integrity has dropped a little. Not as much as it could have been. I got the new Amsterdam and Chesapeake running away. Hold on, guys. Not yet. Oh, they're wavering. Port side constitution is also heavily damaged. Come on, grape shot the shit out of them. There we go. Rudder damage, flooding, manning the pumps. Constitution's port side heavily damaged. Rake the deck with the grape shot and turn to starboard. Do we have any ship capable of trying to capture that? Other than the Constitution. No, the Constitution has not enough morale. Crap. Ideally, I would have them surrender, but they're probably not going to do that. I mean, they're wavering, but they're not done yet. Uh, I need you guys to slow down and wait for the rest. Over here we got the United States, which is heavily damaged. Constellation, also not in a great shape. Constitution's mounting the pumps. The broken pump forces water out slower. Oh dear. Got a lot of crew on the survival task at the moment. Uh, no, I need to turn to port. My starboard side. Well, starboard, starboard, starboard. My port side has been heavily damaged. Standard shot.
in my uh, valiant efforts to try and capture all of these, I think I'm taking too much damage. So I'm just going to have to try and damage this one some more, hoping that either it sinks or dies. Can we get this fixed or not? Yes. Pump's getting fixed. Uh, the Essex is really riding the coattails of the United States there. Fall in behind the Enterprise there, Essex. Constitu uh, sorry, Constellation. Just leave. I don't want to have that new frigate completely die. That'd be a waste. I really doubt, however, that this is the end of the battle. Because sure enough, I've been able to do a lot of damage. But it feels like I massively outnumbered them. And now we're slowly sailing back. Good damage. I just really don't want to expose the port side of this ship anymore. Nor the stern, but it's better than... Well, no. The stern isn't much better either. There. Now they're burning. That should slow them down some. Look at that. That looks uncomfortable. Is that going to kill them? Let's add to their misery some more. Come on. Surrender already. Oh. Yes, I can finish the mission. Okay, I'll do that. <sighs> Completed the mission, but with zero captures. Shit. I was really looking forward to capturing some new ships, but unfortunately, no joy. How's the crew? Could do with a few more. Chesapeake, looking all right. Um, go for gunners. New Amsterdam. We can go for morale. The Constitution needs a lot of repairs. Hmm. I now have more money, so I can upgrade the ship's guns. I can also research something new, probably. <clears throat> Ideally, better guns. Uh, what do we have here? Rifles. Boarding equipment 3. Copper sheathing. Reduces cannon weight. No, I don't really need that yet. Or do we already have access to the biggest guns? Is that it? Because this, I believe, is just land weaponry, that icon. I think, anyway. Hmm. Anything on the Admiralty that we can buy? Hermione class frigate. It's a fifth rate. I would much prefer something bigger than that. So no, that's a no joy. Um, big guns for the Constitution, please. The 32 pounders. Oh, the, sh the store doesn't have enough in, uh, in store, the shop. We're currently sporting nine pounders here. I can upgrade that to 24 pounders. And that way I can improve the firepower of that ship. Because the damage here is not great. N only 7. And at a range of, let's say, 500, I have slightly under 20 armor pen. If I go to these, I have uh, 30 armor pen. And I do 14 damage versus the 7 from this. So we're going to upgrade that. It does make the ship too heavy. So we're going to go with the weaponry upgrade here. The unified gun carriages. 
And then we got 24 arms or 24 pounders there. I can upgrade that to the long guns. Ancient oh no 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 no. Ancient design. Terribly inaccurate. Excellent range and armor penetration. So that's ah, that's the trade-off. What about the Blomfield guns? Newer, simpler design with a better uniform thickness than the older Armstrong design. Lessen the weight, retaining a strong breach. Sounds like a good middle ground. 41,000 I spend on one ship. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should not go for massive upgrades to one ship, but more uh, overall upgrades to various ships. Maybe I'm not go going about it the, <laughs> the right way. <laughs> I feel like there's only really one good way to upgrade these, just with gunners. Maybe I'm wrong about that. A bit more crew here. Yeah, you guys are fine. You didn't actually fight. I'm not terribly impressed with how the Enterprise is performing. I know that she's only a 6th rate sloop of war, but I would expect a bit more firepower from her. I can upgrade her to a coronade ship as well. Her speed's pretty good. So this would go from the 6 pounder, which does 5 damage, to 10 damage. It's just that you need to be really close in order to get that damage in. Here, another coronade shot. Ship is really light. It's going to increase speed. Oh, hold on. If I do not go for a weapon upgrade for a for a, uh, a sailing upgrade, I can make her even faster. And then I can optimize her optimize her rigging, making her even faster. Or making her turn faster. She is a fast one. 11.2. It's by far the fastest ship that I have. Okay, I'll take it. Um, what other guns do I have? Because I got six pounders and nine pounders. Six pounders on the New Amsterdam. That's my ship of the line. For crying out loud. I need bigger guns on that. Nine pounders. Seven damage versus five. Five. I have just over, I think, 25 points at 500. Uh, oh, these are... These are pretty terrible. Oh, the lighter design. Those are coronades again. Coronades. So better six-pounder guns then. Oh, these are the best ones. Nine-pounder. Do I have access to better nine-pounders now? Because what I'm sporting is this. No. And 18-pounder Armstrong guns. Coronade brass guns. I'm currently supporting the 24 18 pounder. 298. I could upgrade to the long gun. That's the ancient design, but it has much better penetrative power. Because these ones have a pen at 500 of about 25. These have a pen of a little under 37. But they're older. If I upgrade them to 24 pounders. They drop off more, but they do more damage. Hmm. Those are merchantman ships or merchantman guns. Coronade like gun, low velocity projectile with greater range and accuracy. Might be a bit of a better on both areas. Oh great. There goes my cash. Alright, well that should do it. Um, I still have another mission to do, the Battle of Durna. So it looks like we are doing another land battle, but not now. We're going to do that in the next episode. For now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon for the next one.